One year ago today, a horrific act of violence took the lives of 14 students and three faculty members at Marjorie Stoneham Douglas High in Parkland, Florida. One of those victims is Chris Hickson, the athletic director and wrestling coach who selflessly ran into the building as others were running out in an attempt to save students' lives, ultimately sacrificing his own. Chris's son, Thomas, is now carrying out his father's heroic legacy, and he joins me now. Thomas, good to see you tonight. Thank you very much for being here. Yep. Glad to be here, Martha, and talk about my dad. You know, you said that if, if, if the shooter had met your dad, if he had talked to your dad about what was going on, that you think maybe all of this could have turned out differently. What did you mean by that? Uh, so, I mean, I, I wholeheartedly still believe that, you know, my father was the type of person that, you know, if anyone was having trouble, uh, they could come to him and he would be there to give them advice, you know, lead them on the way. Uh, there had been a few examples throughout my time of, you know, before I went off to college and before I left that, you know, he actually brought in some students who were having troubles at home uh, and they actually lived with us for a little bit, you know, until they got back on their feet and uh, they were able to continue on. I know your mother uh, decided to put on your father's tombstone the, the quote, if not me, then who, which is so moving when you think about how your father died. What, is that, what does that motto say to you? How does it drive you to remember your dad? Uh, I mean, it's, it's a very simple motto. You know, it's a simple five words, but it, it, like you said, it means a lot. Uh, it's something that I've tried to live my life by uh, ever since I was young you know I've always felt that I've lived that motto in a, in a different sense you know I never put in those five words um, but yeah even after he's gone you know I'm just trying to continue on and, and live those five words as well just like he did every day and you're working with the Travis Man- Mannion Foundation uh, to mentor kids in the way that your dad and your family did as you were growing up yes exactly yeah. tell me a little bit about that uh, yeah, so I reached out to the Travis Manion Foundation after what happened, after we had decided to put that on our on my dad's tombstone. Uh, and, you know, being a, a Marine officer myself, you know, I had known about Travis Manion from my time in the Marine Corps. Uh, and then when I did that, you know, I just kind of did it on a whim, uh, thinking, you know, they weren't going to see it. But then, you know, next thing I know, uh, Ryan uh, was reaching out to me uh, and, and trying to connect with me. And from there, you know, we just had a great relationship ever since then. Before I let you go, how's, how is today and how is your family doing one year later? Uh, we, we honestly just take it one day at a time. Uh, you know, today might be the one year mark, but I mean, every day uh, is, is just as hard for us. It really doesn't matter what day of the year it is. You know, he's still not here anymore. So, Thomas, thank you very much. If not me, then who is an amazing way to live a life. And that's how your dad lived his. And you're carrying on his legacy. I am sure he is so proud of you uh, watching down over your family. Thomas, thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you. Glad to be here. Be right back.